Good morning from Bisco Presbyterian Church, and we welcome you to our worship service this morning. Whatever venue you're in, here in the sanctuary or in the fellowship hall or online. Uh, we have several announcements that uh, some are in the bulletin, some are not. Uh, the first one is Mark is looking to uh, go ahead and uh, fill out the duty roster for uh, 2022 is here upon us. And uh, he will be checking with you to see if you'd be willing to serve. Uh, please let him know if he doesn't reach out to you, reach out to him. Uh, since we had a virtual joy gift program this year, uh, we did not have an opportunity to take up uh, an offering for the joy gift. There are some envelopes down here on the communion table that uh, if you would get them in in the next few weeks, uh, we will forward that on. Uh, the Presbytery of Coastal Carolina invites us to love our neighbors as ourselves and, and keep in mind the uh, times that we are in right now. And if you're at an indoor uh, gathering, to please wear a mask and to practice social distancing and cleanliness. And Russell, uh, I think I've yes. got a note here to call on you. Yes, um, Just want to let everybody know that the church uh, camera security system is now fully uh, working here. Um, the manse and the uh, Sedbury House and the church are um, being monitored by 13 cameras. Not that I don't worry about anybody doing anything wrong at the church yard, but I just want you to know that everything's being videoed now. And um, to protect the integrity of the system, uh, we had to install an alarm system on the church office. It's a keypad alarm and it's to the left of the door going into the church office. And uh, if uh, that keypad to the left up there has a red light on, then you will need to enter a code before you open that door. Because if you open that door and that red light's on, you're going to be leaving the church because there's going to be a siren that's going to bust your, uh, or damage your hearing, <laughs> just to put it lightly. And uh, so we hope that we won't have any more break-ins and, and we hate we had to go those extremes, but it's the world we live in and uh, we're not trying to keep anybody out of the office. If you want to know, uh, I can probably help you, but Mark Miller and, and Matt DeBerry, your better choices, uh, they came with me that day and they understand everything a lot better, but either three of us can help you gain access to the office. Uh, so not trying to keep everybody out, we're just trying to uh, protect our investment and protect our church here. So if anybody's got any questions, just you know, see one of us about it. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Russell. Let us worship God. <laughs>
Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks and praise for Jesus Christ, born to Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. As the angels proclaimed to the shepherds, Jesus is good, is good news of great joy for all people, a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Hear us as we pray the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Stand if you're able and join in singing the first hymn, hymn 161, Joy to the World. together in the prayer of confession found in your bulletin. Let us pray. Gracious God, we confess that we have sinned against you and one another. You call us to clothe ourselves with compassion, but we surround ourselves with distraction, ignoring friends and neighbors in need. Pour out your mercy upon us, loving God, to wash us clean from sin and fill us with your peace. Let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. Let the word of Christ rule in us richly. And let the grace of Christ fill us with gratitude. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Friends, join the songs of the heavenly host singing good news of great joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. Now let us join and say what we believe as we repeat the Apostles' Creed found on page 12 of our hymn book. Christians, what do you believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. 
The, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for blessing us with the Savior and your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us not be really reminded just of his birth and celebrate it, but also of the death, because he was born to die for us. Come to you today thanking you, Father, for all that we have. Um, as we continue to celebrate this week, look forward to ending 2021 and going into 2022. Let us be reminded of what we should celebrate every day, Father. And that's the Savior that you provided us with in your Son, Jesus Christ. Prepare our hearts, prepare our minds as we continue to worship today through the songs of joy and praise. And may all that we do is to strengthen your kingdom. And all that we do is to honor and to glorify your name, Father. Be with us, guide us, and watch over us in all that we do. In your Son, Jesus Christ, holy name I pray. Amen. Let us offer our lives and labor to the Lord as we give our tithes and offerings.
sending your son, we ask that you keep us mindful of this gift, that we live our lives differently because of our belief. Bless these tithes and offerings in Jesus and in your service. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would please stay standing and let's sing hymn number 166.
And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she was that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Yea, shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. to Jerusalem, saying, Where is that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. <coughs> when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And we had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together. <coughs> he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise man, 
inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced, and exceeded great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down, and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and mirth. And before warned of God in a dream that they had not returned to Herod, they departed into their own country another way.
And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Let us pray. Mighty God, please accept our songs of praise and holy readings of the celebration of our Savior's birth, and accept our efforts in Strengthen our faith as we experience the joy of the season. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our closing hymn today is uh, number 165, Good Christian Men Rejoice. God.